Hey everybody, Abby here. Um, excuse my mop that I have going on right now. Um, I took a shower and this is just natural. And I'm just kind of letting it air dry. I've been liking letting it air dry. Um, I guess I've kind of just been lazy, but um, I just did a kind of get ready with me video. Um, it is probably going to be the worst get ready with me video ever. Um, so many things went wrong and it was just kind of like a mess, but I'm still going to post it because you guys said that you liked the sped up get ready with me videos. Um, I just have a couple things that I picked up. Most of these, a couple fun things, mostly necessities, um, and I am going to Walmart directly after this video to get a couple other things, so I'll probably just tack it on at the end. Um, but I had a little time, so I just wanted to get these couple things out of the way. Um, the first couple things that are just kind of weird, um, you guys saw in my storage video that I said I liked the plastic containers from the Dollar Tree to put lipsticks in. Um, this had the Q-tips and cotton um, in it, and I just took it all out and it holds four lipsticks in each. So I got another one of those because I want to redo my lipstick drawer before I do a collection video, which a lot of you said you wanted to see a new one. Then, if you guys have ever seen my collection, a lot of you guys ask where I got the things to hold the lip gloss or lipsticks. Um, they are these long ice cube trays. This is the time to find them at your local Dollar Trees. So, look. Um, <laughs> there and see if you can find them. I didn't find them at one store, but I did go to another one and I found them. Um, and these are in two packs, so I got two more packs of them. Again, I want to just revamp my lipstick. <sighs> so I got those things. Then also I got um, a package of Daisy BBs. These are the 2400 count. Um, these are the zinc plated. This is for my Frankens. I didn't end up showing you guys in a video at the end of one of them. I said I was going to show them, so I'll probably, hopefully if I remember, tag it on here or I'll do a special video about it. But this is what I heard um, are good like for mixing your polishes and they don't corrode. But then I heard conflicting stories that these rust, so I don't know. We'll try and see. They were like $4 or something for these, so I picked those up. Um, I did have a couple things I picked up at the drugstore. Um, I picked up <laughs> some lip products, which I am really bad about buying lip products. I have no need for any more lip products, but I just couldn't help it. Um, the first one is a Revlon, one of their matte lipsticks in 904B, and this is Rosebud. This was one of the shades that was 75% off um, at Rite Aid, so I just picked it up to add it to my collection, and it was like 50 or 75 cents, so pretty rose color, and I absolutely love these formula lipsticks, so I was happy about that. Then I picked up two more of the Revlon lip butters. They were on sale at Revlon this, or er, at Revlon, at Rite Aid this week for $4.99, so I picked up two more. Um, the first one is Sweet Tart, which is a pretty, like, corally pink color, and that it is it right there and then the next one I picked up solely because I saw somebody wear it in a video and it looked gorgeous and this one is in Fig Jam and it looks so dark um, as you can see here it looks so dark but it, it just comes out so pretty and sheer and really gorgeous um, I thought this kind of was reminiscent of um, Clinique's Black Honey Lipstick. It's definitely more brown toned than like pinky toned than that one is but I just thought I'd get it and I love it. So The next couple things I got were from Target. Um, these are kind of necessity products. The first one is my Garnier Refreshing Gel Cream Moisturizer. I'm almost out of my second jar of it. I absolutely love this stuff so I'm just going to keep buying it. Um, this is my nighttime moisturizer, by the way, and after shower. So then I picked up um, another lash 
clear brow gel from e.l.f. This is from their dollar line. Um, almost running out of that. And then I picked up the Sonia Kashuk spoolie. Um, because I've been using a disposable spoolie to run through my brows after I put the clear on them. But I just wanted to pick up something that I could just keep, so... I picked up that, um, and I think this was like two bucks, so didn't break the bank. Then I went to Ulta. Um, I went because I had my reward, and I just wanted to pick it up, and I just got a couple things. I got another one of the Real Techniques brushes. This is one I don't have, and this is the shading brush. This is just an eye brush, small um, shader brush, so I got that just to add to my collection. Not a f I don't know if this is going to be a favorite, but I think it's going to be nice for highlighting in the inner corner and smudging on the lower lash line. So, um, I really do love the Real Techniques brushes. So, um, next, I am like losing my mind and train of thought here. Um, the next product that I picked up was an Essence Day All Day eyeshadow, and it's going to be weird. You're probably not going to be able to read it because it's like kind of plastic on the top. And this is in Steal the Show. This is just a nice shimmery taupe cream shadow. Um, very super pigmented. Um, it stays great on the eyes. Absolutely love it. Super blendable. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous cream shadow. And I think it was like two forty nine or something. Um, and I'm actually wearing it in this look. Um, I did wear it in another look, I think. I've been obsessed with it. Um, I love it. And then my reward, they were kind of, I got a level two, and they were kind of crappy rewards, to tell you the freaking truth. I got um, the Revlon Quad, Color Stay Quad, um, and this is in Siren. It just has, like, a silver, purple, taupe, and, like, a deep kind of blackish gray so I picked that up I really just didn't love any of the level two rewards so I got that um then the last stop that I made was MAC um only reason I went was so I could pick up brush cleaner I go through that stuff so quick but I absolutely love it um and it's cleaned my brushes so much better than any other one so I picked up two backups <laughs> um then I picked up an eyeshadow, just a little treat for myself, and this is one of the matte squared eyeshadows, which is one of my favorite formulas, and it is brown script, it looks very, very red, but it's just like a red brown, um, I didn't have anything like it in my collection, so I just wanted to pick it up, I had thought about a look using a brown red eyeshadow, so... I wanted to pick up something like it, and a matte squared is always nice. So that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will talk to everybody soon. Bye, guys. Okay, I just wanted to add a couple things into this haul. It's really late, and I just wanted to put it up real quick. Um, they still didn't have my moisturizer that I went to Walmart for, so I'm going to still be looking for it somewhere. Um, I just got a new package of washcloths. Um, I use these to stock clean my brushes and stuff. Um, then I got an, another Maybelline brow pencil. This is the Master Shape in Soft Brown. So I picked that up. And I also picked up two of the baby lips from Maybelline um, because I did have dollar off coupons. So I picked up... Oh, they don't have the names on them. Oh yeah, they do. Cherry Me, which is the red. just a nice sheer red pink and then I got grape grapevine which is the purple one which again these are very sheer compared to the Revlon ones but I figured that. Then I also found a coupon when I was there for $2 off uh, any Maybelline foundation. So I picked up the Fit Me in 115 This was 5 bucks, so I paid $3 for this. So Awesome. Um, 
But that's it. Talk to you guys soon.